Well, welcome everyone to the very last one of our videos for this time of Thy Kingdom Come. Let us pray. God, our light and our salvation, illuminate our lives that we may see your goodness in the land of the living and looking on your beauty may be changed into the likeness of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, I wonder how well you've managed, how well have I managed to pray for our five every day during this time. And will that in any way change your habits of prayer? Let me just share one way with you, one, one way, share with you one way in which uh, for Caroline and me, our prayer habit has changed in the last year. Uh, it's changed really at the start of the pandemic. Uh, before then, we would pray regularly through the members of the congregation and normally pray for about 10 people a day. But as this started and we felt this crisis come upon us, uh, we pledged to aim to pray for everyone by name uh, once a week, the whole congregation once a week. So we took our long list of 160, 70 families or so, uh, names and families, uh, divided up into four, and we pray for one of those uh, quarters each day. Uh, sometimes it's hard, sometimes it feels stale, sometimes how can I pray any differently from how I did last week? But it's been a great thing for us to be able to bring to God in prayer, every one of you, every member of our church family, once a week. And now that we hope and pray we're moving out of at least the severe phase of this pandemic, uh, we want to carry on doing that, make that a habit which will remain with us. That's one little way in which we've tried to, to grow in prayer over the past year. And I wonder, is there any way for you, coming out of thy kingdom come, that your prayer life might be taking forward. If there are, do share stories. It's lovely to encourage one another with these things. But now I'm going to hand over to Paul, who's going to break, take us through the ending, the closing of the Lord's Prayer. Thank you to Paul. So we've got to the final part of the Lord's Prayer. The line that says, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. But the funny thing is, unless you're reading the old King James Version, then when you look in your Bible, you won't find this line there. All you'll find is a little number at the end and a footnote at the bottom that says, uh, in some later texts, this line is included. So if it's not part of the original prayer that Jesus was teaching, why do we include it in the Lord's Prayer? Uh, there's a couple of reasons. Firstly, it does come from the Bible. It's just a different part of the Bible. It, it's derived from a, an ancient prayer of King David. Uh, and we see that prayer in 1 Chronicles chapter 29. And, and David prays, Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor, for everything in heaven and earth is yours. So it's a biblical thing we're praying, but it's a great thing to include because it is praise of God. It is praise of God, but also it is a reminder of why we pray to God. The, the line starts, doesn't it, with the word for, and the word for is just another word for because. So, because everything we've already prayed, therefore everything before the for, we, we prayed because he is, he is the king of the kingdom we long to come. The power to bring it all about is his. The power to carry out his will on earth as in heaven is God's power, not ours. And therefore, all the glory, the praise and the adulation, they all belong to God forever and ever, because they always will belong to God. And so it's a great way to finish the Lord's Prayer, to glorify him. And so we glorify him with these words for the kingdom, the power, 
and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Well, in response to that, let us pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Can I say a huge thank you to everyone who's contributed to these these last 10 days and, and the few days before it. Thank you to everyone who's contributed to these daily videos. That's been a really inspired idea and very grateful to you all. Uh, thank you for those who've made it possible to open our church buildings during the week. Thank you for, to those who delivered flyers. It was great thousands of flyers going out into our parish. Thank you for those who faithfully prayed for five people every day. And for all of you, all those who've made thy kingdom come happen this year, a huge thank you. And may indeed God's kingdom come, may it grow as a result of our small participation in his great work. But now, a prayer to close with. Almighty God, your ascended Son has sent us into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your spirit and fill our hearts with the fire of your love, that all who hear your word may be drawn to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. And may our wonderful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless us and keep us always. Amen.